Welcome to a special edition of the Orange Cactus Coffee Podcast, where coffee professional Scott Rayo answers your questions. It's yes or no with Scott Rayo. Thanks, Brioni, and thank you for joining us for episode 83 of the Orange Cactus Coffee Podcast. It's another edition of Yes or No with Scott Rayo. Brioni's going to go ahead and read this next question. It is from the Manny G. Manny G asks, I'm very interested in knowing what Scott thinks about the use of a refractometer for a roaster or coffee enthusiast. It's not something people are going to have just laying around, but is it necessary for some people in the coffee industry to utilize? Who would those people be and for what purpose? I'm a big fan of coffee refractometers. While some coffee pros seem threatened by the refractometer for some reason, I think it's important to see them as tools. Like any tool, a refractometer can be used properly or improperly. Refractometers do not dictate to a barista. They merely tell you the TDS of a brew, and that data point allows you to calculate extraction. If a barista has that information for thousands of brews, he or she will learn a lot about how ratios, temperatures, pressures, grinds, roast development, etc., affect extraction. I probably learned more in my first year using a refractometer than I learned in my previous five years as a coffee professional. It's up to you to decide how much it's worth to you, as I know they're expensive. But pros who eschew the use of refractometers are fooling themselves if they think they can be as good without one on a regular basis. So get your credit card out. Pretty much, right? Yeah, it's on the way. Manny's going to be happy. Manny's going to be like, baby, Baby, Scott said I got to. Scott said I got. We're gonna have better coffee if I get me this refractometer right here. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I think it. I need to measure the wavelengths and how the light bends in my coffee. Yeah, to determine if I'm doing it right. So I'm on a VST Lab store right now. The Coffee Three refractometer, seven hundred twenty-nine bucks. Seven twenty-nine unbundled. Seven twenty-nine. But so for me though, are there other other ones out there? There are. I've what seen other? other people reference ones that are around four fifty. I think. I think it's like they're like, oh, here's the China version. It works good for me. Yeah. You know, I don't know. That one's probably made in China too. Who knows? But there is a, a competitor. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, but if we do, perhaps you can link to it later. Um, I think Scott's answer was a. I I sus, sus, is okay. Let's try here. Use your words. Yep. I yep. expected. You're so there. Uh, that to be the case, but I was surprised by how adamant he was um, in that he learned more. Yeah. Right? In a shorter period of time using it as opposed to years not using it. Yeah. I think that's key. Yeah. That is really, that's really the thing that surprised me as well, Mike, because the, whatever the public perception of Scott is, he really is a very humble and caring individual. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's his humility that says, this is just a tool. If the tool is going to make me better, I'm using it. I'm going to use it. Why wouldn't you use it? Why would you not use it? Why would you think that just your senses, it's almost like using temperature probes for roasting. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, no, I just use my senses. This is going to make you a better roaster. I just stick my hand in the roaster. using, Using a thermometer for your water temp. You know, just know the variables, know the variables. And I think that's, you know, you're going to get better variables, more data points, like you said. And I think it's, it's, it's just a tool to, to do better, to get better. It is, it's not a a personal rejection of who you are in coffee if you use one. Yeah. So I, I thought for sure that he was going to, um, care about it and recommend using it. But what surprised me, like you said, was that he accounted uh, his coffee or his growth in coffee was more one year using a refractometer than the previous five mm-hmm. as a, an established coffee professional already. And I think that's where the value is. Yeah. How many years do you want to spend trying to do it without? Right. You know what I mean? You break it down by that. Um, I think it just, it almost becomes invaluable. Yeah. So if you want better coffee and you want to understand how to manipulate it um, and you want to accelerate that learning curve, it sounds like a refractometer is what you need. Yeah. So do you, do you need one? Absolutely not. It just it comes down to what you're about. Right. If you're happy, your customers are happy, yeah. then great. The other thing I would point out, especially for um, a coffee shop, maybe an enthusiast, it's a big stretch. Yeah. But if you have aspirations or you want to continue to um, promote coffee or sell coffee, how much is a roaster? How much is a grinder? How much is an espresso machine? What is the cost of consistency? 
You're what dropping is, thousands on these machines. What's the num- What's the price that you want to put on delivering a consistent coffee experience to your customers? Yeah. What return on investment does that have? And if you're a business owner, you're going to be tired at times. You're going to be exhausted. You're going to be frustrated. Now you're going to rely on those exhausted senses to dial in everything. Yeah. Why not use a tool that is not exhausted? Yeah. That has not been up till one o'clock in the morning doing accounting paperwork or filing taxes or filing extensions or, you know, adding up receipts or doing last minute cleaning or trying to find a plumber to come in or Mm -hmm. an air conditioning guy. You, You know, there's so much that goes into running a business. Why would you not use a tool that's already there? Exactly. To help you dial in your coffee better. And I even can take that further. If you utilize that tool um, and you then hire managers or you have multiple locations, it's just something that they can quickly do in part of their, their QA, their quality assurance. Make sure everybody's on the same page and you, you're consistent across yeah. multiple locations. Yeah. And I think the key with using it, as I've heard others mention, is there's not necessarily a, you must hit these numbers. Yeah. It's, it's a tool as if the coffee's tasting good, great, let's look and see what what we're getting from it and then manipulate it and see how it changes. Yeah. It's it not the end all be all. Exactly. I um, Just, liken it to coffee equipment. You know, I'm a, or coffee equipment. Hi, my name's Jake. I'm an idiot. Yeah, this is a football coffee equipment. podcast. Yeah, yeah, this is a coffee no. podcast, but coffee. I coach youth football as well. I just recently bought a sled, yeah. a single man sled. It was expensive. It cost a little bit more than the coffee like refractometer. Like a bob sled? Like a, a tackle sled, blocking sled, whatever. Oh. It's not an end all be all. Just because you use a sled doesn't mean that you're going to have better blockers, but it's a means to an end. And you can kind of see, you can gauge strength levels, technique levels. You can kind of look at the the person blocking more instead mm-hmm. of holding a pad and he's blocking me and I'm kind of looking down or trying to, you know, get out of the way and see what he's doing while I'm still holding the pad. No, now I can see it on this device. How is he doing blocking the sled? Yeah. Where do I need to coach more? How, you know, how can I do better? And also they get better because they're, they're having to knock around this big old hunk of metal or, or a pad attached to a big hunk of metal. Yeah. And so it, it's a tool. Does that mean you're going to be successful? No. But does that mean you have a better chance of being more consistent? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. There's two ways you can look at it. Does having that sled mean your blockers, um, they'll be better blockers? Not necessarily. But if they're better blockers, could you say they're better because you've had the sled? Yeah. Yeah, you absolutely. So you can absolutely. look at it like I'm a better coffee professional because I used a, a, the uh, refractometer, like Scott said. Yeah. Just because you have one doesn't make you better. Doesn't make you. But you can say at some point, I am better because because I used it. Yeah, absolutely. So, all right. Yeah, Manny G, great question. Thank you so much. And Scott, fantastic answer yeah. as usual. Always enjoy it. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you for listening. You can find show notes at orangecactuscoffee.com forward slash episode 83. And as always, go ahead and hit me up with your questions for Scott Rayo at Jacob at orangecactuscoffee.com or Mike at orangecactuscoffee.com. Also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Appreciate you. Talk to you next time. Bye.